<laughs> so I am Emily from the uh, the Fredrickson Library. I'm the team programmer there, and today I have with me Emily Young and Deanne Williamson, also from the Fredrickson Library. And today we're going to just tell you a little bit about some of the things that we have been reading and watching and listening to and keeping busy with during um, COVID-19 and while the library has been closed. So um, let's see. So Emily, do you want to go first? We'll just sure, why not? Go Happy in a to. circle. Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, so I, I compiled my list of things I've been up to. I broke into three different categories, um, things that I'm reading, things that I'm playing, and things that I'm watching. Um, so if you want to start with reading, I have my print book that I've been reading. Hopefully you can see it. It'll probably be backwards though, maybe. Um, it's called A Woman of No Importance. And um, it's the story of an American spy who helped um, the Allies win World War II. And it's fascinating. Uh, it's about a woman named Virginia Hall, who I had never heard of, and I think probably many people haven't. Um, and it's just sort of telling her story. And it's, I'm only on chapter two, but it's really interesting. Um, so I have that for my print book, and then I'm about to start uh, A Secret Garden on audiobook, and um, for that one, I wanted to mention, I know maybe some of you use um, Libby, the library app, which is excellent, um, but if you, because I know sometimes, I don't know if this is how it is with every title, but a lot of books only have one or two copies um, that are available, so I know that's a pretty popular one and if you can't find it on there there's another app that I found called LibreVox um have either of you two heard of that yes I love yeah. LibreVox yeah yes yes so I'll spell it for you so if you have um anybody watching if you have uh, a device where you can download apps um it's LibreVox so it's L-I-B-R-I-B as in Victor O-X all right, so that's what I'm going to use. It has a lot of free classic titles, so I find that excellent when I want to sort of uh, revisit some classics that maybe I liked um, in school and kind of want to check out again. Um, so that's how I'm planning to listen to A Secret Garden, and I'm excited about that. Another um, cool thing with LibriVox is um, you can sign up to do recordings with them. So um, if you like to, like perform it might be fun to read a book that's in the public domain and put it up there because like if you look at like like the fairy tales and stuff like anybody can read one um so if uh if anybody out there watching is looking for some uh some fun um performance work that might be a good good option cool that sounds great yeah, I know they do have um, usually like a couple different versions of the popular ones, the popular titles, um, read by a couple different narrators. So you even have the luxury of being picky of, you know, seeing which, whose voice you like better reading the book. So that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of things I'm playing, so I recently discovered the app um, called House Party. Have you ever been yeah. that? Mm, I have not. Yeah, so... Um, it's super fun. I did it last night with, um, some of my friends and you, it allows you to do like a video chat with multiple people, kind of like Zoom. Um, but you're also able to on that platform play games. So, um, we played uh, different kinds of trivia. They have lots of different kinds of trivia. Um, they have a game called Heads Up. Uh, which is like, I think you're like a, like a celebrity, you know, and you have oh, to guess fun. who you are. Um, what else? No, oh, there's a, a game called like Guac and Chips or something. It's like, it's their version of Apples to Apples. Um, and that was really fun. And Pictionary, like their version of Pictionary. So I highly recommend that if you have, it's totally free. Um, if you have, uh, you know, a device where you can download House Party. It's really fun. Um, something else I've been doing and really enjoying is doing some uh, virtual trivia um, through different Facebook pages that I've found. So all I did, if you have a Facebook account, I went into the search bar up top and I just searched for virtual trivia and see what 
came up um, and there were tons of hits, different like restaurants and um, libraries and, and things do them. Um, and they do it in different ways. I've seen them do it through like Facebook Live or sometimes they do it through Kahoot, if you know what that is. That's yeah. another app. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's just something that I do to have fun. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, a lot of a lot of places I found do it on Thursdays. I think that's a popular trivia mm-hmm. night. So um, I yeah. always try to remember to look that up then. I think um, um, I think uh, Cheaters Never Prosper, the the trivia group that comes to the library. I know they're working on getting a virtual one up. Um, oh, good! So um, cool. keep your eye on our Facebook page for that. Um, we will definitely alert everyone once they are up and running um and if you're interested in a teen specific uh trivia night definitely let us know because we can make that happen yeah uh, totally oh yeah i'll definitely be tuning in if that, yeah. if that happens um and then lastly just a couple things i've been watching um one of my obsessions of late is um something else i do through facebook uh, which is tune into some live streaming of um different um zoos and farm sanctuaries Yay. animal sanctuaries um it's one of my favorite things um and if you do so again i just sort of search that in the search bar i search for like zoo live or zoo uh live stream and a bunch of things come up and sure. then i just um set it so that it reminds me you know of when it is and then um i go and watch it and i even like stream it to my tv so i can have it on the big screen um and yeah, it's lots of fun. You can comment, you can ask questions about oh, the animals. Um, that's so, cute. so far, I've seen stuff on lizards. And um, so I followed the Lancaster Farm Sanctuary, uh, which is nice and local. Uh, and they have, they, they do like, um, besides just giving like virtual tours of the property, they've also done like yoga and meditation um, sessions as well, which I think is really cool. Um, so that's definitely a one to look out for Lancaster Farm Sanctuary if you're into that kind of thing. Didn't they um, have, also, um, a, a goat birthday party? Is that them who did that? Yes, they did. They sure did. And I was like the first one. <laughs> so I got like a notification on my phone and oh my gosh, it was so cute. They just like fed the goat. The goats were turning one. So they fed them this like molasses fruit cake and, um, it was adorable. So, Aww. um, another one I followed locally is Zoo America, which is, um, the zoo attached to Hershey Park. So they also have some great programming. I think they've been doing, uh, live streams at 11 a.m. on weekdays, if you're interested. Um, so as well as lots of other zoos. Yeah. And then, um, the other thing I want to check out, I just installed it last night, is Netflix Party. Have either of you tried it yet? I haven't I tried, tried it, but I've heard it. about it. Yeah, so um, I love that it, it, if you have, you know, a Netflix account, obviously, if not, um, it wouldn't work. You do need a, a, um, a laptop or a desktop computer to use it. It's a Chrome extension, so you have to use Google Chrome. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it allow, if you haven't heard of it, it allows you to sync up. Uh, the video playback with a friend or whoever else is watching with you. Um, and then you can also chat about whatever you're watching. So I plan to to um, hit up my friends and watch some, like, documentaries and uh, maybe just some, like, cozy movies and things like that. Um, maybe Great British Bake Off, to be honest. That is a very um, good idea. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's, um, I've been watching a lot of those, like, comfort shows, you know, I think that's been really helpful during this yeah. wacky time, so <laughs> that is sort of all that I've been up to lately. All right, thank you so much for telling all of us that, that Emily. Uh, Dan, do you want to uh, share what you've been up to lately? Sure. Uh, mine kind of goes with what Emily was talking about, is how Right now, everything feels so chaotic. Um, we're, you know, adjusting to this new normal. Uh, I take first grade, so we are attempting to <laughs> do some kind of online learning. So everything is just kind of up in the air. So in the downtime, I feel like I need to turn my brain off and just do uh, things that make me happy. So the books that I've been going to is like um, just 
just comfort books and things that I know are going to have a happy ending. <laughs> Those yeah. are probably the ones I go to anyway. Uh, but one of the ones that I actually reread because I like it so much, um, one of my favorite YA books uh, is the Tell Me Three Things. Um, and I know it's like, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, substance to it, but um, it's just one of those really happy, funny uh, type of books that just makes you laugh and, um, you know, you fall in love with the characters and it's just kind of comforting to know uh, that it ends, um, you know, it's just a happy type of book. Um, I've also been rereading uh, Anne of Green Gables, uh, oh. which ties into what I've been watching. Uh, I got obsessed with Anne with an E on Netflix. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to see that. I love it so much. <laughs> I've rewatched it a bunch of times. Um, and another one where I just fall in love with the characters. I've read that book a bunch of times, but seeing it on a screen in a different format than all the other ones mm -hmm. um, were, it was just awesome. And I didn't want it to end. And I want them to make way more seasons and we need to <laughs> uh, petition them to do so because yeah. It's so good. So I've been rereading the book, um, which is really fun to do, uh, to reread something that you know you've already read, especially because, you know, we're not going out and buying new books. Obviously, we're getting e-books and things like that, but I'm just picking things off of my uh, bookshelves that are already there and rereading them again, which is good. Um, something that I, another thing that I've been watching is, um, it's, uh, it's the, what's it called again? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, Next in Fashion, which is just one of those shows that you just kind of turn your brain off and watch. It was on Netflix, so you could watch all, like, ten episodes or something like that. Um, it has Tan France from Queer Eye, which oh, is I lovely love and wonderful. Yeah. It's very much like the Project Runway, except not as weird. Um, it's very uplifting, and the, you know, the character or the the contestants all love each other and want to help each other kind of like great british bake-off um so that's another one uh that i really like and i'm hoping they make a next season because that'd be great um and i wanted to mention quickly that i think on friday don't quote me if i'm wrong um that there might be a hamilton live stream uh on youtube with the original cast oh uh, my that is gosh. at eight o'clock the only thing, it's a little sketchy. Um, I'm going to hope that it's true and they just haven't said it live yet. But I got it on the, um, somebody sent it to me. It was from the bostoncalendar.com. Um, mm. And the only thing is that when I click the link to it, it's obviously not up and running yet. So I'm not sure what the YouTube channel is. Um, but I'm hoping on Friday it'll just be everywhere because yeah. that would be a really cool thing to end the week. Um uh, with you know singing along because it's the entire it says it's the entire album oh that was so cool <laughs> yeah i'm really excited but if it doesn't work um or if it doesn't happen um i also have been watching the some good news with john krasinski yeah. um uh, it's so good it's so good and it's what i feel like everyone needs right now um mm. so he, i don't know if anyone has watched it but the one that he just put out was they had the Hamilton cast surprise a fan and they sang mm -hmm. and it was amazing. So if the Hamilton sing along doesn't happen on Friday, then we can always just rewatch that and, yeah. you know, read <laughs> the magic. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, thank goodness for technology and mm -hmm. ways to connect with people. I've been on um zoom quite a bit uh which because it's it's such a nice way to, it feels like you're with everybody um so tonight we're getting my entire extended family on um and i actually made a trivia game so <laughs> um because you know we have like uh not everybody's gonna know how to get on the different apps and things so i, I just made it on powerpoint so i'm gonna share my screen and yes. we're gonna play trivia together <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so any ways that you can connect with people, especially because this is such an easy way to just get, a, you know, connected, even just for a little bit each day, mm -hmm. uh, can help boost your spirit a little bit. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, Deanne. That all sounds really good. We're definitely going to uh, keep our eyes peeled for a Hamilton uh, sing-along, because yeah. that would be so fun. <laughs> Yeah.
Um, I once did one at like a convention. I went to a Hamilton sing along, um, and people were like dressed up and everything, and oh, anybody yeah. anybody could get up and sing, and it mm -hmm. was just the coolest yeah. thing. They had a full band, and um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so. yeah. If anybody watching this came to our Hamilton at the library, the first one we had like 150 people showing, yes. and we were expecting. I don't know. That was back when it had just started. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we'll do this Hamilton sing along. And we got like, we're like, oh, we'll get, you know, maybe 25 people. And then it, people just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. That's awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> um, so let me tell you what I've been up to. Um, so my first thing is um, I've been starting to get more into poetry. Um, so I've always kind of liked poetry, but. Um, I just kind of like started getting more into reading it lately. Um, so uh, I'm going to read you guys one if you don't mind. So this is one that um, that I really liked. It's called Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. And here's how it goes. It says, you do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, um, the wild... Wait, where was I? Oh, sorry. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. I just think that's really nice. That um, is nice. I really like uh, like the idea of the world offering itself to our imagination. Um, that just seems really uh, very sweet to me. So yeah. I've been I've been reading a lot of her poetry, um, which has been really nice. And um, I have also been um, playing a lot of Animal Crossing. I don't know if anybody out there is playing <laughs> Animal Crossing, but this is a video game by Nintendo. You can see my background. This is uh, my character, and you can see I made a little um, uh, a little pizza restaurant. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, and um, kind of going back to what you were saying about connecting digitally with people, um, you can uh, you can share, and so um, we've been doing that, which has been really nice. And um, while I play Animal Crossing, I have been um, listening to a lot of audiobooks. Um, so uh, right now I'm listening to The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. And I've really been enjoying that. It's kind of like, um, you know, fairies uh, hanging out doing things. I don't know. It's fun. Uh, there's like, you know, some drama, some love interests. Uh, nothing, you know, too, uh, nothing too, like, deep or dark. So, like, it's, like, a nice comfort listen while I'm, you know, roaming around my island catching fish. So, uh, that's been taking up most of my time when I'm not working. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of everything going on with me. Um, so, uh, well, this was really fun, guys. I'm really glad we were all able to to come together and, and share our stuff and hopefully we'll get to do it again. Um, yeah, definitely. If, uh, if any of you out there watching um, have anything you want to suggest to us, you can leave it in the comments. Um, you can email us and we're going to get a survey out probably next week for what kinds of teen programming you want to do digitally. So like if the trivia that Emily talked about sounds good or if you want to schedule our own Hamilton sing along, uh, yeah. let us know and we will see what we can make happen. Um, so thank you everybody for watching our video and uh, we'll see you around. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a good day.